Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Great morning, great afternoon, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome, if you're not familiar, my name is Papaya Mitchell, and I have another prophetic word from the Holy Spirit. I'm actually in my study time, and he began to speak to me so heavily, so you know what I did? I got my pen, and I started writing, <laughs> and he brought me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 8 through 9, um, and it tells us, Saul was very angry. This refrain displeasing him greatly. They have credited David with tens of thousands. He thought, but with me only thousands. More, more can he get but the kingdom. And from that time on, Saul kept a close eye on David. Saul was so jealous of David that he had to keep a close eye on him. Listen, family, sometimes God will have you in the trenches. Your trenches is your struggle. Your trenches is, is your enemies. Do you hear me? He will have you in the storm, going through a storm just to get you to your promotion. God will make the struggle. God will make the trenches look so good on you that you will have people talking. Oh, look what she going through. Oh, look what he's going through. Listen, people will hate you for your struggle. Even negative talk is a sign that the enemy is bothered. Mm. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to? The Bible says Saul was jealous of David. He didn't ha hate David because he was in the trenches fighting. I mean, everybody knew that David had slayed Goliath. So they wasn't intimidated by that. It was the all. It was the all, baby. I don't know who you are, but you dripping, baby. It's not you. It's the all. They're not intimidated about what you got. It's the all, baby. It was nothing Saul could nitpick. He couldn't find nothing in David at all. I mean, David was strong. David was bold. David, David was fearless. It was his anointing. It was the oil. It was the calling over his life. I need for somebody to realize, beloved, people are not going to like you. And it's not even about you. It's about the calling. It's about the oil. Can you drop in the comments, baby, it's not me. Baby, it's my oil. Baby, I'm dripping with oil. I cannot help it in Jesus' name. Someone drop in the comments, baby, I'm dripping with oil in Jesus' name. The Bible says... Saul remained it, David enemy, for the rest of his days. Listen, some people are just not going to like you and you have to accept it. Baby, it's the all. God has chosen you. Baby, it's your anointing. It's your anointing. Remember, darkness hates light. So their, your, their demons are irritated with your light. But you are the light of the world, says the Lord. Amen. Saul didn't realize he was hired by God to promote David. See, he didn't even know that he was he was hired. He was in position to promote David. David name became well known. After after if you go to verse verse 30 it says the Philistines commanders continued to go out to battle and as and as often as they did, David met with more success than the rest of Saul's officers. And his name became well known. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to in this hour? Beloved, let your enemies promote you. They were hired anyway. They were hired to slander you. They were hired to bury you. Beloved, let them promote you in this season. In Jesus' name. In the book of Esther. In the book of Esther, this is this is how good God is because he broke this thing down so clearly. So, so clearly, amen. So in the book of Esther, the king was looking for someone to promote. He he, he couldn't sleep that night. Um, so he went into the book of records and Mordecai's name was bold. I mean, Mordecai had did something for the kingdom and they wanted to honor him. And at that time, Haman was coming coming into the room so the king began to to ask Haman what what do you suggest that I do for someone that I want to honor not knowing that the king was talking about Mordecai Haman thought the king was talking about him so he started talking big he started running and down what 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 the king should do because he thought the king was talking about him but the king was talking about Mordecai see that's why sometimes in some seasons beloved you just have to be quiet beloved, 
let them do the talking because God is saying, beloved, I am setting you up for a promotion. I am setting you up for something that man can't get credit for. See, they, 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 they privately, they privately try to ruin your name. They privately try to plot on you, but God is getting ready to promote you in Jesus' name. God is singing in this hour to somebody in Jesus' name. Your name, your name holds weight. Your name is in the spiritual realm. Your name is ringing bells in the atmosphere as we release this word in this hour in Jesus' name. God is saying, beloved, what you went through was public. What you went through was public, and although it didn't feel good, although, although it hurt you, God is saying, I was testing you and the hurt. I was seeing if you was ready for me to promote you because even Jesus had to go through a season of betrayal. Mm. Even Jesus had to go through a season of betrayal, beloved. Glory to God. Beloved, this is a season for many of you of promotion. A promotion. God is saying, I'm promoting my children. Your name is in heaven. Heaven is about to release a promotion over your life, beloved. Know what you didn't go through was in vain. It was working in your favor. Everything that the enemy thought was going to be negative in your life, God is turning it around in this hour. In Jesus' name. Beloved, Haman was Mordecai's enemy. Haman didn't know what was going on if through that conversation he had just walked in the room. Let me tell you, your enemies have walked into the room. Your enemies, your name was in rooms that you wasn't even present in, beloved. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying? There is something happening behind the scenes. See, what your enemy sought out to destroy you, God is using to promote you. Beloved, your name was in rooms and they did not know that your name held weight. Your name is heavy in the spiritual realm. God is saying, beloved, your name is being brought up in this hour. Beloved, you're up for a promotion. Beloved, I remember you. Beloved, you was not forgotten. I was waiting for the right time. I was waiting for my time to promote you, says the Lord. Who is the Holy Spirit talking to? God is saying in this hour, beloved, get ready for promotion. Get ready for promotion. I see you. I know what you've been through. But I also was testing you in the wilderness. I was testing you in the trenches. Beloved, many of you have been through a pit. I mean, the enemy, he drug you through the mud, baby. God is saying it wasn't in vain. It wasn't in vain what the enemy thought. The enemy thought that you was going to drown in that mud. He thought you was going to drown in that mud. The enemy thought you was never going to get up. In other words, your enemies, they tried to crucify you. Not knowing that God was doing something behind the scenes. God was resurrecting you. God was rebuilding you for your next. In Jesus' name. Beloved, God is getting ready to promote many of you. In the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. Beloved, your rank just went up. Beloved, your name just went up. Beloved, God is about to do something with your name. I don't know who this word is for, but beloved, God is getting ready to do something with your name. Beloved, receive this word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God is saying heaven is backing you up in this hour. Heaven sees you in this hour. Angels are being dispatched in this hour to get you to where you need to go in Jesus name to release you in this hour to release you in promotion in this hour in Jesus name mm. Mm. God is crowning you with royalty in this hour mm. God is saying public honor public honor no no more private honor See, they try to destroy you in private and they thought that they, that was their honor. <laughs> but God is saying, no, I'm giving you a public honor, public display in this hour in Jesus' name. And beloved, beloved, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet in Jesus' name. God is saying, I am elevating your name in this hour. I, 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 I'm doing something with your name in this hour, beloved. It will speak for itself, your name. Your name in this season. Hear me, hear me in the Holy Spirit clearly. Your name will speak for itself. Your name will go before you in this season. Because God already paved the way. Your enemies paved your way. 
<laughs> Let your enemies promote you. You sit back. You be quiet. You don't. You don't respond. You don't go tick for tat in this hour. No, 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 no. You let them do the talking. You let them big you up, baby. Let them big you up. Because God is about to big you up. God is about to put his, his stamp on you, beloved. Get ready. Get ready for glory. Get ready for favor. Get ready for expansion. Get ready for God to do the impossible in your life. The impossible. You heard what I said. <laughs> God is like, you tell them they heard what I said. See, you don't think it's possible for God to pull you out. You don't think it's possible for God to, to shoot a miracle in your, in, in, in your lap. But God is saying, it is possible. And I'm about to take your impossible and turn it into possible. Because I'm that big, says the Lord. In Jesus' name. Beloved, you're being promoted in this hour. You're being promoted in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.